Not just any old cat. Since you seem to have half a brain, might I ask a favor? It won't be too much of a bother, I promise.
Call me cynical, but I don't believe cats can talk. I'll help you out, but only if you tell me who you really are. I knew you were clever. Yes, I'm no cat. At least not on the inside. This is where you tell me about some bizarre episode that put your soul into a cat's body. Exactly. You're good. Of all the possibilities, why a cat? Oh, let me start from the beginning. This body that I'm in, the most beautiful cat in the world, she was my precious little baby. Obviously, I named her Jem because she was my treasure. She was everything to me, but she got sick and passed away. I had a difficult time dealing with her death. I couldn't accept it. I shied away from reality. I did everything I could to preserve Jim's body while I desperately searched for a way to bring her back. Science, voodoo, alchemy, you name it. I tried everything you could ever imagine. I spent years, no, decades, performing experiments to bring her back. I'm not one to judge, but the love you have for your cat is more than a little frightening. She was my life, but nothing worked. I couldn't revive her. I'd run out of ideas. I was devastated. I had just about given up on life, everything, when God decided to throw me a bone. A little girl approached me. She called herself Lumina. Lumina? This ought to be good. What happened? I thought this little angel had been sent from the heavens when she handed me a potion and said it had the power to lend Jem my soul. According to her explanation, if I drank the potion, I could revive her. Of course, I drank the entire bottle without hesitation. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to drink strange potions? Especially ones given to you free of charge by people you just met on the street. But this stranger told the truth. Jim was revived. See? Alive as ever. However, I wasn't prepared for these side effects. This wasn't what I had in mind. And that's where I come in, isn't it? Yes! Lumina mentioned there was an antidote that can reverse the effects of the potion. With it, things can go back to the way they were. It's called Starlet Spice. Please, will you find some of it and wave it under my nose? I assume you're talking about your human body, so it's still intact somewhere? Do you recall where? When dawn approaches, you'll find it wandering aimlessly near a large assembly of cats. You can tell from a single glance that it lacks any sort of soul. My name, my real name, is Ronan. I don't know if my body will respond to that, though. Please, procure a vial of Starlit Spice and let my wandering body get a sniff of it.
You can see I'm not just any old cat. Since you seem to have half a brain, might I ask a favor? It won't be too much of a bother, I promise. Call me cynical, but I don't believe cats can talk. I'll help you out, but only if you tell me who you really are. I knew you were clever. Yes, I'm no cat. At least not on the inside. This is where you tell me about some bizarre episode that put your soul into a cat's body. Exactly. You're good. Of all the possibilities, why a cat? Oh, let me start from the beginning. This body that I'm in, the most beautiful cat. I'm not just any old cat. Since you seem to have half a brain, might I ask a favor? It won't be too much of a bother, I promise. Call me cynical. Thank you. 